Hello you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. We're going to talk a little bit about XXE and how to perform an SSRF attack with this XXE. So in this specific lab we have a feature that's uh, supposed to check the stock and this feature will parse XML. Now if you guys have seen my previous video you will probably know that XML is often vulnerable to XXE because it's an overlooked function of XML and it's really really useful for hackers like us. Now uh, the lab itself is running a simulated EC met EC2 metadata endpoint. When we go and look at the uh, description from AWS about these endpoints, we can view some information. We can see that there is data on this endpoint that might be useful to us. And we can also see a warning that you can only access the instant met instance metadata and user data from within the instance itself. That's why we need to perform our SSRF. And the data is not protected by authentication or cryptographic methods. That's really important because if we can access this data, we can just read it. We don't have to authenticate to read any of the data. Now, AWS suggests to not store any sensitive data on this endpoint, but of course in the labs they have. So let's try to exploit this, shall we? Now, I've already done a few things as you can see. Let's check the stock again. And when we check the stock, we can see that in the request, we are sending an XML uh, payload, just like expected. Now we're going to edit this payload and we're going to add in our XXE attack vector. And of course, we also have to print out our uh, entity. So we're going to replace the product ID with our entity and XXE point comma, there we go. And we're going to send this, <coughs> excuse me. Now initially we're going to have a response invalid product ID latest. This latest is just a response from the EC2 uh, endpoint and it's telling us that we need to go to the latest folder. So we're going to adjust our XXE attack vector and we're going to include this folder like expected. There we go. Now when we send this again, we're going to see a new folder pop up, metadata. That's because we're not in the correct folder yet, of course. So we're going to do this recursively until we've uncovered the correct one. Now I know from experience that it's the admin folder in metadata in EAM, sorry, but I'm not, I'm just going to go through the process like you guys would. There we go. Slash metadata slash, ooh, did something wrong there. EAM, there we go. We send it, we're going to have a new response, security credentials going to edit this and resend it again. Now, as you can see, this is a lot of just recursive editing and resending. There we go, got a new response admin and we're finally almost there. Our last request slash admin, sorry for the pop-up guys. There we go. When we send this, we get our AWS HMAC key. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Uh, and please leave a like because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm if you enjoyed. Thank you very much and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.